Comes time for electrical. You want to pick out the steel stud boxes with the flange mount on the front of it. So you can get these in either one gang or two gang boxes. And you're going to want to mark out the location. Here's we've got this one, a little cutaway will make things easier. Here's the InsoFast stud that's buried right below. It's right below the InsoFast logo. And the electrical raceway is illustrated by these little dots for the vertical raceways. And then there's also horizontal raceways at the top of each panel so you can go either direction. So we're going to be cutting out a spot right next to the stud here. And a hot knife is going to be your easiest way to do it. it takes a little bit for it to heat up. And then you just plunge in right next to the stud and then cut extra upward. This way it allows us to access that horizontal raceway in there as well. So we can run wires up as well as across. And it just cuts out a nice slot. Here you can see this is the back side. This is the part of the electrical raceway that goes up through there. So this you can see the side of the stud, that's what we're going to be attaching and screwing into. Now the first thing you want to do is run your wire. So if we're going through the vertical raceway, we can shove it, shove it through, and then just run it all the way up into the rim joint area. And you don't need any fish tape or anything. Now that I got my vertical run done, I'm going to cut that off. And I don't know if I mentioned you want to get your wires hanging out of the wall first. You don't want to mount your boxes first. And then put the wire in, you want to put the wire in and then run that. Now we're going to put in the horizontal. Get it into the raceway and find the path. And we just slide it over until it comes out in the next, in the next box. There it is. So simple as that, you can go eight or 10 feet without a fish tape at all. So now you're going to cut off, cut off the wire. And when it comes time to mount the box now, you want to cut out the little knockouts in the back of the box. You'll route your wires into the box. And then push your box into place into the stud. Pretty simple. It has two holes on there for mounting, so we better do both or we might have a little bit of stuff. Now for those of you that are wondering what I actually screwed into, I'll just show you that there's a stud by each one of these markings. You can see this black is, has the strength of attaching to a 20 gauge commercial steel stock, so you're not going to have any issues there. You're asking about what about the attachment for the wire for the code requirement. And what that is, is, is if you adhere the wires into place, it counts as a code requirement attachment for the wire. So simply fill this in. You can fill the whole thing in or if you're wanting to save a little bit on spray foam, you can take the piece that you cut out and cut some of it. Cut some of it off and then put it back. Put it back in place. So that allows you to put it back in place. We're just going to fill the whole thing with spray foam just because it's easy and simple. For code, you need to have these wires attached and the spray foam is the code required attachment for the wires. So this air seals the box and fills it in. And what you want to do is just let that let that dry and expand out and trim off any excess. Looks like I got a little bit extra in there, but it's really as simple as that.